In 1953, James Watson and Francis Crick discovered that DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is contained in a structure called the double helix, lying at the centre of virtually all our cells. Within your DNA are around 23,000 genes, which you inherited in two packs, one from your mother and one from your father. Your genes come in pairs, one from each parent. Some pairs are what's called dominant recessive. A dominant gene, like the one that causes a cleft chin, always trumps its recessive pair, making sure its characteristic is turned on. But hang on, if your parents both have dominant cleft chins, then how can yours be smooth? Well, actually, we only inherit half of each of our parents' genes. That's one gene from each of their pairs. So, we get half of our mum's genes and half of our dad's. So, it must follow that we get a quarter of each of our grandparents. Now, here comes the important bit. Genes passed down from our grandparents may be turned off in our parents, but turned on again in us. To see how this works, let's take a look at your family tree. Your dad got a dominant cleft gene from your grandfather, with a paired recessive gene from your grandmother. The same is true for your mother. So, in both of them, the dominant cleft gene was switched on. The eggs and sperm your parents produce could only carry one gene from each pair. It just so happened that the egg and sperm that made you both got the recessive chin gene, so you could only get your granny's pointy smooth chin. The genetic mix your family gave you is unique, but the genes themselves aren't uniquely yours. That's because DNA is the blueprint for all life, from bacteria to human beings. All your organs are made up of cells, instructed by the genes within them to work together to keep you alive. We share this basic method of staying alive with every animal and plant on Earth. Which means you share 95% of your genes with rats, 60% with chickens, and 50% with bananas. <laughs>